Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Oil and gas multinational ExxonMobil and tyre multinational Michelin Tyre Company have teamed up with local truck service and wheel alignment enterprise Laserfast to create a truck stop where the vehicles are checked, service and wheels aligned while drivers rest. Skulkberger has a story. The Laserfast truck stop next to the R59 in Meyerton, Sedi Bing, in the south of Gauteng, is the result of a partnership between the local heavy-duty vehicle wheel alignment and service company and the two automotive-focused multinational companies. The truck stop will service all heavy-duty vehicles, including buses and specialty freight, such as fuel trucks. It is officially one of the Michelin truck service centers and will also be represented on the web-based ExxonMobil station locator, available via its local distribution partner, Centlube's website. The 2,450 square meter workshop has 14 bays and the facility has parking space for 50 trucks. There are wheel alignment and high-speed wheel balancing equipment, as well as brake testing equipment to provide certificates of compliance for the trucks. The facility has a Michelin tire store and supplies ExxonMobil lubricants, greases and oils. The facility will also provide rest, ablution and canteen amenities for the truck drivers, which they can use while the trucks are being serviced. Further, the aim is to establish a diesel depot at the facility to refuel the trucks. It is hoped that the facility can acquire the fuel retail license by the end of the year. Laserfast owner and founder Henry Young provides some insight into the development of the one-stop truck stop. We started in uh, 2004, if I can remember right, and uh, we started with a little uh, wheeler diamond company. One little, uh, it was a tiny little office, one bucky, and a place to do about three trucks wheel alignments. The company grew quite a while in the beginning, the laser fast, uh, and we ended up with uh, seven buckies on the road. And we got a big problem. When we failed the vehicles on the truck company's uh, uh, premises, the guys used to say to us, where can we take our trucks for services? Where can we have the kingpins done? Where can we have the shacklepins and bushes done on trucks? And we just didn't know where to. We tried a couple of odd people, and on the end we decided to do it ourselves. And we opened a workshop, and Seven years ago, I got Johan in from, he used to be a, a very good mechanic. He used to run a w- big workshop and I said to him, don't you want to come join forces with us? And we started, uh, we had a little workshop, we could fit four, four, four eight ton trucks in it. And we had a big problem. On the end, the trucks were standing in the road. We couldn't get the trucks into our place to service and everything. And then we decided to do this old truck stop. Uh, and uh, we started off with just a small, uh, the building would have been like t- uh, 28 by 40 meters. And when we planned everything, I said to them, you know what, I think this is going to be too small. And we made it like 14 bays instead of seven bays. And some days the whole place is full. We've got the one-stop shop for the trucks. And then we just hope, for, hopefully we get our license for the diesel. Then when a truck drives in here, it won't drive out here for anything else. It should be services, tires, greases, oils, everything, diesel. And there will be a place for the drivers to have a good shower and a rest and everything. And we'll be fresh on the road again. I think joining Michelin and Mobile, I think on the end of the day, with the advertising and everything that we all three together is doing, I think this, this on the end, maybe this building is going to be too small for what we're all planning and what we all expecting to happen. And especially when with the extension of the truck stop uh, diesel supply and everything and all of that, I think it's going to be very, very busy. Here. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.